Drawing Energy Level Diagram. This video is a simplified guide. This is the energy level diagram. Arrows pointing up is endothermic, arrows pointing down is exothermic. The energy level diagram helps to calculate the enthalpy change of formation of an ionic compound. It makes use of enthalpy change of atomization, i.e. Ea and lattice energy. Our example is to calculate the enthalpy change of formation of calcium oxide. First, write the equation for the enthalpy change of formation of calcium oxide. You can assume that it is exothermic. The zero is needed because enthalpy change of formation of calcium and oxygen are taken to be zero. Atomized calcium, enthalpy change of atomization is required, it is endothermic. Atomized oxygen, enthalpy change of atomization is required, it is also endothermic. Note that there are only one mole of calcium gas and oxygen gas produced. Calcium to calcium 2 plus, two electrons are removed, hence first and second ionization energy. Note that two electrons removed from calcium must be shown. The oxygen gas takes in the two electrons to become O2 minus gas. This is the first and second electron affinity of oxygen. The first electron affinity is exothermic, but the second E8 might not be so. Hence, in this diagram, we have assumed that the first and second E8 to be endothermic. The attraction between the cation and the anion gives us the ionic compound. This is just a bond formation process, hence it is exothermic. This will be the lattice energy of calcium oxide. Hess law, enthalpy change of formation of calcium oxide can be obtained. 